up everybody suburban legend here bringing you guys another episode of the basketball diaries my series that i've been running on my channel where i tell you guys some real life stories about my life and my basketball career and today i'm telling you guys about the time i played basketball against metal arc lemon well i guess i should change that a little bit it's not really much about the time i played against him as much so as it's just me telling you the life story of metal arc lemon which is an amazing story and I really think everyone should hear his story because it's, you know, just some of the accomplishments and some of the things he overcame in his life are just simply amazing. So, brief word about the gameplay before we begin. I'm playing some Domination on the new map pack. This is on Hazard. And, uh, I don't know, I just try to find a gameplay where we come from behind and overcome a big deficit to kind of go along with the story. But, anyways, on with the story. Um, last summer, I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to play basketball against Metal Arc Lemon himself, which is absolutely amazing. And if you don't know who Metal Arc Lemon is, uh, just sort of a brief background before we begin this story. He's uh, His claim to fame is playing for the Harlem Globetrotters, who are a group of basketball players that since like the, I think their 40s, I think they formed. They travel all over the world with amazing athletes and they share a story and they, they do what they do is sort of a hybrid form of basketball and entertainment at the same time. Uh, it's like half performance, half basketball game. Uh, they're all amazing athletes and all that good stuff, but they uh, have some skits formed in with their act where they, you know, they'll pants the opposing players and they'll, they shoot a lot of half court trick shots behind the back, all that good stuff, throw water into the crowd. You know, it's an entertainment basketball game, and at the same time they share a message too of, of uh, keeping the youth off drugs and off alcohol and all that good stuff. And, you know, they, they preach a good message at the same time. So that's what the Harlem Globetrotters are. And Metal Arc Lemon played for them for 24 years, actually. And uh, he's also a member of the National Basketball Hall of Fame. So Basketball Hall of Fame member. And here's his story. So here we go. Uh, when I played against him last year, he was actually 79 years old, too. So this is a story of not only accomplishing your goal, but once you reach your goal to just go so far over the top and surpass everything that he's still playing basketball at age 79. I mean, I'll be lucky if I can walk at age 79, let alone still travel the world playing basketball. But anyways, his story starts out, uh, he grew up in poverty in Wilmington, North Carolina. Didn't have a penny to his name, neither did his entire family. And one day when he was 11 years old, he was able to go to the movies with, one of, with a few friends. And he saw a short film on the Harlem Globetrotters. And from age 11, he knew that that was his lifetime goal was to play basketball for the Harlem Globetrotters. And he didn't actually have access to a basketball court at that time. So in order to teach himself how to play basketball, what he did was he took an onion sack and a coat hanger in his backyard, made a basketball hoop out of it, and shot hoops with an empty milk can. That's how he taught himself how to play basketball. I mean, that's that's... That's determination right there. That's sheer determination. And by the time he actually reached high school and had access to a basketball court, he would spend between 8 to 12 hours every single day playing basketball, practicing basketball, learning new tricks, shooting shots. I mean, he was so dedicated to his goal of playing for the Harlem Globetrotters that he would spend 12 hours a day on the basketball court along with going to school. <laughs> Could you imagine spending 12 hours a day doing anything? on top of high school. I mean, it simply boggles my mind to think about it. Um, by the time he graduated high school, he was offered the opportunity to play basketball for the Harlem Globetrotters. However, he was drafted into the army, so he had to fight in the war. And two years later, when he was done fighting the war, he came back and the Harlem Globetrotters still asked him to play for him. So he started playing basketball. Not only did he start playing basketball and, you know, accomplish his lifetime goal of playing for the Globetrotters, but he kept playing basketball. He kept traveling the world. He kept sharing this amazing message that the Globetrotters send. And, and after 24 years of playing for the Globetrotters, he accomplished another goal of his, which is start his own basketball team that travels the world. And uh, basically, ever since he was 22 years old, he's been traveling the globe, playing basketball, sharing the amazing message, trying to keep kids off drugs and alcohol. And, I mean, he started foundations, he started summer camps, trying to teach kids, uh, you know, there's better things to do than drugs. And he's really just, when you think about the sheer amount of people he's touched in his lifetime and 
the number of people that have shared his message and seen his entertaining basketball games, it's it's pretty amazing when you think about it. And uh, I have some statistics for you guys, and these statistics are absolutely insane. Um, so here we go. Metal Arc Lemon has played in over 16,000 games. 16,000 basketball games in his career. Now to put that into perspective, if you played a basketball game every other day of your life, every two days, that's 88 years worth of basketball. <laughs> 88 years worth of basketball. So he's been playing, averaging more than a game every two days his entire life. Which is just mind-boggling to think about it. I mean, the other day I was sitting there looking at my YouTube channel thinking, damn, I'm approaching, you know, 70 or 80 videos. That's a lot of time and effort I've been putting into these videos. And then I hear that stat and I'm like, yep. <laughs> that puts that right into comparison. <laughs> uh, here's some more stats. He's traveled over 4 million miles in his career. He's played basketball in front of popes, kings, queens, and presidents, which is pretty cool in and of itself. And this is probably the best stat of his career. He played in 9,925 consecutive basketball games without missing a single game for injury or anything. 9,925 consecutive basketball games. Now, some of you sports fans out there know the, you know, the, the record. Obviously, Kel Ripken Jr.'s consecutive baseball game record. And this is almost four times that record. Four times the amount of games played. I mean, Brett Favre who? <laughs> this guy is, is simply amazing. Um, like I said, he grew up on the streets of Wilmington, North Carolina. Total poverty. And now he's... Uh, <laughs> to the point where he's at today. He's 80, I think he's what, 80, 80 years old right now, 79 or 80, and he's still traveling the world playing basketball. It's just simply amazing the level of dedication and determination that this guy has. And uh, I think the best message is not only reaching your goal, doing everything in your power to reach your goal, but once you reach your goal, don't stop. Just keep going, keep doing what you love, and just, just keep at it. You know, I mean, this, this message of overcoming diversity and dedication you can really apply it to anything, you know, not just Call of Duty or starting your own YouTube channel, you know. Think about dedication when you want to succeed in anything. If you want to make the high school basketball team, are you going to are you going to be the guy out there spending 8 to 12 hours a night playing basketball? You know, that's that's the type of dedication you need to to have to ensure that you reach your goals. You know, are you going to are you trying to advance in the job you're working at right now? Are you willing to spend some overtime? Um, are you willing to go the extra mile for it? Whatever, whatever it applies to, you learn to play guitar, anything really. I mean, this is just such an inspirational message. I really want to share it with you guys. Um, what else do I have jotted down here? He's played in over 100 countries, from Algeria to Zimbabwe. Uh, that's crazy in and of itself. Also, he was ordained a minister in 1986. So not only is he traveling around the world, meeting. Uh, you know, interacting with millions upon millions of people, but you know he's sending a great message. Uh, you know, just just telling the people, trying to keep kids off drugs and be a positive influence on people. And just the sheer amount of people who have heard his message is, you know, just mind-boggling. The, um, the amount of people he's touched in his life is just crazy. So, what else do we have here? Um, oh, this is awesome. This is a quote. Uh, an LA Times sports writer once said about him. Uh, sorry about the popping in the background, some fireworks going off. But An LA Times sports writer once described Metal Arc Lemon as, and I quote, an American institution whose uniform should hang alongside the spirit of St. Louis and the Gemini space capsule in the halls of the Smithsonian. <laughs> I mean, I literally couldn't sit down and attempt to write a quote about someone that's more honor honoring than that I mean is there any way you could possibly say something better about another person than that quote right there it's just simply amazing but <laughs> as you hear the dramatic music kick on in the background we were getting triple capped at the moment losing by a lot towards the end of the game trying to come back and do everything we can to win obviously this Call of Duty gameplay just pales in comparison to the message of, of Metal Arc Lemon and the fact that he's still traveling the country playing basketball but you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've done, <clears throat> I've done some awesome things in my life. I have some great accomplishments of my own. But one of the things I'm most proud of is saying that not only did I get to meet and shake the hand of Metal Arc Lemon, but I got to play basketball 
on the same court as this legend, you know. He was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2003, the Basketball Hall of Fame. And in 2000, he received the Lifetime Achievement Award for the sport of basketball. Now, if you do, if you have anything to do with basketball, those are the two highest awards you can possibly get. And I don't know if anyone deserves it more than this guy. You know, 16,000 career games. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's oh, just the sheer level of determination and everything that he has had to do and overcome in his life. You know, to get from where he was to to where he's at today. You know, that's that's an example of of doing something with your life. You know, so. Just think about that next time you're complaining about uh, high school or, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with real life, you know. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, just sit back, take a few seconds, and think about the story of, uh, of Metal Arc Lemon. So. Anyways, we're approaching the climax of this gameplay here. They're about to take B right here, which would give them the victory as we're essentially tied right now at the moment. And there's two guys capping B. I put some bullets into both of them, kill one, and one of my teammates hits the other guy with a grenade, which just enabled us to get the victory. So I'm uh, celebrating here, shooting the gun up in the air. I'm pretty happy. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this commentary. I put a lot of work into it. I uh, made all the music you heard in the background and the intro and all that stuff. And did a lot of research to get this facts right. And, you know, I just have been waiting for a long time to share this story with you guys. I've, you know, really been anticipating this commentary, so I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the life story of Metal Arc Lemon. This is uh, Suburban Legend signing out.